If you're trying to buy a sports car, this is the first couple of things you need to know. That there's insurance on that sports car, there's a monthly bill on that sports car, and there's depreciation you have to take into consideration. If you want to be a smart person, you don't want to just throw a bunch of money, or if maybe you have FU money, you just want to go buy it. Okay, this is not a video for you. Go watch another video. What I'm personally doing is I am going to be buying a couple of sports cars within the next few months. And what I'm doing is I'm justifying it because of two reasons. First and foremost, I'm going to be riding it for free. I've done this personally for my Jeep Wrangler 2017, but I bought the car at 40, 50 grand, and the car has literally been paid off for itself through renting it, including insurance and including maintenance. Nothing has been coming out of my pocket for that car. And I've been able to drive it for the last seven months for absolutely free. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the BMW i8. I'm getting a really good deal in it. I'm like, hey, let's go cop this car, putting as, as small as I can down payment on the car. And then I'm gonna go be going out there and renting it out to people for video shoots, photo shoots, just rentals, whatever. And I'll be making money on that car as well. But the game plan is this, subleasing it on my own website, running paid traffic to the website and getting bookings on bookings on bookings. So that place is gonna be making money. And when it's not being rented, I'm gonna be able to live there for free 